Imagine a world where time itself hangs in the balance. The pendulum is one of the simplest machines ever constructed. But it wasn't until the Renaissance that one man used it to kickstart the timekeeping revolution. Meet Galileo Galilei, the Florentine genius whose mysterious discovery changed everything. One story tells how Galileo was standing in Pisa Cathedral in 1581 when a breeze set the lamps swaying. As it kept time with his heartbeat, his brain started ticking, quite literally. Legend has it that Galileo claimed the time it took for the pendulum to swing back and forth depended on the length of the pendulum, not the weight of the bob. Sounds genius, right? But here's the twist. There's no hard proof he was even in Pisa Cathedral or saw any swinging lamps. And in fact, pendulums aren't quite that simple. They require regulation to be accurate. Galileo and his son Vincenzo sketched out the future of time with their pendulum clock design. But Galileo passed away before he could see his genius in motion. So who would take up the mantle and set time swinging again. 100 years later, enter Christian Huygens, a brilliant Dutch scientist. He discovered the secret of controlling a pendulum was down to using a cycloid, the curve traced by a point on a rolling circle, like a bicycle. But that's not true either. Huygens built clocks accurate to around 15 seconds a day but he had simply used a pendulum with small amplitude. Nevertheless, this clever trick dramatically improved the accuracy of timepieces. Huygens' clock allowed us to organize our daily lives, navigate the seas, and map the world. Without this unconventional discovery, happened upon by chance and shrouded in myth, the world might look very different. Would we still be guessing time using the sun? and navigating ships by the stars? So next time you glance at a clock or watch, remember, time might be hanging by a thread or a pendulum. Whether true or not, Galileo's discovery gave us the gift of time and we've been swinging with it ever since. <laughs>